Greetings, YouTube. I first just want to say a big thank you to everybody who put feedback in my video in the past week of who I should 565 next for uh, my next rank up. Basically, it was between the following. Iceman, who still is very tempting, to be honest, at SIG level 200. Uh, a champion that I have put so many resources into and still one of my favorite champions to play. Star-Lord, because many of you have said, you know, I need to 100% Labyrinth of Legends and just count on a rank down ticket in December, which is still a dangerous thing to count on from Kabam, right? And uh, just, just clear Labyrinth and then wait. Uh, some of you were really, really high on Magic. And there's a compelling argument, since she is still the best power control champion in the game overall, that a rank 5 65 Magic will be even more OP despite prestige issues and the fact that most of what she does is already good at rank four. And then some of you actually said Ghost Rider. In fact, I had one guy hit me up and, and send me gameplay footage of his 565 non-awakened Ghost Rider. He is so passionate about Ghost Rider. And Ghost Rider is indeed one of my favorite champions to play with and someone that someday I do want to 565, especially if he never comes out as a six-star champion. Who knows if Kabam will release him or not. And then you had the long con, right? Which is basically between three people. Void, who many of you are obsessed with and uh, have made compelling arguments about the difference between a rank three and a rank four. Void, and then if you didn't say Void, you said Prof, why not do your Corvus Glaive? Best champion right now for Alliance War Attack. He's going to be an axe, an axe, an axe six monster. Uh, somebody that just has so many positives, and you are all right. And then there were even a few people who thought that I should do Korg, and not this four-star Korg. Let's uh, let's filter out the four-star, shall we? Let's make this video a little bit more concise. Instead of uh, four-star Korg, let's scroll down to, what's up, buddy? My five-star Korg, because there are some of the best champions in the game, with uh, some of the best summoners in the game, I should say, with the 565 Korg. And certainly that sucks to play on Alliance War defense. And then also there were people who even said the following. Prof, there is somebody who we need to think about. And that is Mr. Killmonger. And Killmonger is pretty dang good as well. So I took all the feedback and everybody basically gave fantastic feedback. And oh yeah, by the way, Gwynpool and Dr. Voodoo were also mentioned. So here are my thoughts. Everybody who said Act 6 should be around the corner, and I do believe that. I think in the next six months, we should see the first chapter of Act 6, hopefully in the next three months if we're lucky. Uh, in Act 6, you're not really sure what the nodes are going to be. You're not really sure who the bosses are going to be. So you need to wait to use those Tier 5 basics until then. And I think you're right, especially if it comes out in December or January. So here is my thoughts. Here are my feelings. I need to do something because I am backup in Alliance War. And so backup is, is a good position to be in because you can kind of uh, wait and see what champions specifically you need to bring in that will help. And mostly my, my three champions I bring in are Ghost Rider and Blade for the synergy and then either Hyperion or Iceman depending on the path. But the one champ that I really need to bring in every once in a while and I just can't justify is void who many of you in fact who most of you said to rank up anyway so here are my thoughts i am going to look at this champion and i'm going to think to myself i will hold this guy at rank four and the only thing that i'm going to give up is four tier two alphas but i'm not going to touch my tier five basics this gives me the flexibility to actually wait and if i get like a six star corvus glaive uh immediately take him up to rank two or if I get Stark Spidey, I'm in a very close position to take him to rank 565. Of course, this isn't the year 2032, so it probably won't happen. And then uh, if otherwise, you know, just uh, just wait and see. So I do want to go ahead and look at this guy one more time real quick, just because some people are in this same position. And so I think for the data, it's important for you to see that his health right now at rank 3 is 19,000 and his... Uh, his attack is 1,300, so I'm going to write those two numbers down on my fancy, and by fancy I mean like 18th century notepad next to me on my computer. So 19,000 uh, attack and 1,300 approximate 
uh, oh, excuse me, 19,000 health, 1,300 attack. Don't we wish it was 19,000 uh, attack? Okay, time to upgrade this guy. So no turning back. I think my alliance is really going to be excited for me to do this rank up as well to help them, and that's important to me. So boom, just started. I think he's automatically going to get from this a PI well above 7,000, and I'm just um, excited to see what happens, you know? And you know what I'm not excited to see is lag in the uh, rank up. There we go, over 7,000 already. Pretty pumped up about that. We're going to filter in our science ISO. Prof, how do you get so much ISO? The arena, because when I go to the arena, I get premium disappointment crystals or premium harassment crystals or whatever I want to call that absolutely abomination in my last premium opening. Uh, and then from there, you know, I duplicate a lot of champions, a lot of four-star champions as well. And then I just save up that ISO. The arena, even though you will grind until you hate your soul, is the secret to gold issues, ISO issues, uh, unit issues. It's the secret to everything. And I give Kabam credit for that because they really do reward people who waste away their life grinding in the arena. Uh, you know what isn't rewarding, though, is waiting on network connection issues. That's, uh, that's not rewarding. Oh, he's over 8,000 now. That is so awesome. That is so awesome. Instantly going to be one of my best champs. And then there are some beautiful big ISOs there. And let's see if I can work this out. Take one of those 5,000 up. We'll take out some of those to save, to sell. And still doing that, still doing that, still doing that. And okay. That's perfect. I cracked the Rubik's Cube of ISO to max my void. And now at level 55, he is indeed over 9,400 PI. That's incredible. Now, keep in mind, before he was at 19,000 health and 1,300 attack, he is now at 25,000 health and 1,700 attack. And he is Fear of the Void Sig 71. And so we get 948 Attack rating for 40 seconds. Fear the Void is active. Timmy Presence generates debuffs 29% faster. I'm just going to continue to to put in my generic Signature Stones into him from now on. And, and I always love when Signature Stone bundles come into play as well. So Void 1. And this gives me, just to show you before I end this video, what my inventory currently is. I'm also going to claim some Overflow Tier 1 Alpha Catalysts. Uh... It puts me in prime position to help my alliance as a backup to potentially maybe someday take Void to 565. Who knows? And then in the meantime, I have not touched my two uh, very precious Tier 5 Basics, and I still have almost four Tier 2 Alpha already. And I'm, I'm counting on us to get a free one in December and maybe in January, and then obviously there'll be some Tier 2 Alpha Catalyst offers and ways to get those from monthly events. So the only thing that's holding me back from a 565 champion still is the Tier 2 Alphas, and I should get those pretty fast. So I am so thankful for everyone's feedback. I'm thankful to announce the, the, the winning champion of this, so to speak. And my roster is just looking so good. Stark Spidey really is the only major hole in it and yes that has been a consistent theme for a while but we now look and my void is indeed uh past star lord as my fifth best champ and that is something to celebrate so thank you again to everybody for your input and my uh, you know my counter says i can i could stall and make this video 10 minutes but screw that no one wants to stall a video so i'm gonna end this video now say thank you and hope that this helps those of you who are looking to rank up your void yourself